hold? Yeah. You want to actually hold one of them that your third great grandfather held? Huh. That's cool. Have you ever seen a rinse like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Uncle Richard has a bunch of those. Curved ones? Yeah, curved ones with the hole in the middle and the three. Mm -hmm. Where'd he go? I was going to show him. Alan? He's, he's winding oh. the clock. Oh, okay. He's winding the clock. Have you seen a tool like this? Just think he held that in his hands. Uh, that's cool. Looks like an open end branch, but uh... And this what that's where he put his thumb? <laughs> Is that where he put his thumb? That's a question. Well, yeah, possibly. I have no idea what he looked like. I can show you the picture of his son, okay. his children. You want to take a movie of it and yeah. tell about it? What vintage is this stuff? Okay. Here's Wyatt, and then his mother, and Uncle Derek, and then me. So that's three generations. And then my dad, four generations. Uh, my grandfather, Henry um, Albert Calvert, five generations, and six generations from Wyatt. His great 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 grandfather, and his wow. name was James Franklin Calvert, and his wife was Mary. Wow. wow. And this is where they live between where Adrianelle lives and where Kurt lives, hmm. in through there. And Kurt's found these things. So, how did Kurt know where they lived? Well, like I said, his grandmother used to live there, oh, so she yeah. had told him. But I didn't know my, but she told her son, her family, so they yeah. knew. But, but my dad never told us where his grandparents lived. And I don't know, I've got, uh, I'll have to look and see when they passed away. But I'll show you, I'll get the picture to show you my grandfather's photo. Okay. We've got two railroad spikes. One, two, three, four horseshoes. A horse bit. And two tools. I don't have... Uh, this is my... Uh, dad's mother. Oh. And I think that's her right there, don't you? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, probably. Okay, and I'll get my... I'll have to show you... I'll have to get my uh, cell phone to show you the other... Okay. So this would have been the mid 1800s. So 1800s, okay. Wow. wow.
got it. This will take a second. I've got to go back to November. Let's see. There's Meryl. Okay. There, there's... This is um, my my grandfather right there. Oh, right there. That's all. These are the children of the people that own those tools. Wow. This is Henry Albert, and this is Ida. I don't know which one this is, and I don't know these. I don't know the names of the other oh. four, but this but, is Kurt's but, grandmother. And this is my grandfather. Oh. I'm going to get that printed out and give to everybody. Yeah. That's cool. Isn't it? Don't you have some other pictures of... Oh, there's, there's that one a little better. Oh, yeah, there. Let's see if I can make it. Yeah, I can get a picture of him. Henry Albert Calvert. There. <laughs> so you don't, you don't know the others? Just, no, I've read... Just Kurt's grandmother uh -huh. and your... Grandfather? Ida. Mm -hmm. And my grandfather had already passed. He passed it. He was only 38 years old. Huh? Died of pneumonia. So when was this? Um, I'd say he's about 22. So, um, let's see. Not sure what year he was born. My dad was born in 1911. He was probably born around 1895, and these people were probably born around the 1850s. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like you. I wonder what the railroad spikes were for. <laughs> he must have found them and used them on the farm. Yeah. They came from Kentucky, but they lived in... I think maybe they got married in Boone County, and that's real close to Boone County. I'll have to look and see. I can tell you the other kids' names. I have to go look it up. Here's their names. Elizabeth, William, Ada Louise, Myrtle, Albert, my grandfather. Uh, no, and Henry Albert, that's my grandfather. He was born in 1882. Ah. My grandfather. So the, the Mary, let's 
see. This is going off into. You don't have to fill my okay. eyes. Could it I just, just wondered. Uh. Okay, this is my grandfather right here. Henry Elbert Calvert, born 1884, married 1905, died uh, 1921. His father was James Franklin Calvert. His mother was Mary Martha Gall Galladay. Those are the people that uh, that belong to. Does that have anything to do with why uh, Trish and Adam named Franklin Franklin? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Well, and see their children, they named. This is Henry Albert and. And his wife. These are my grandparents. Okay. And they named their children um, James Frank, one of them. That's Merrill's dad. Oh, okay. So he was named after his grandfather. Okay. And then, yes, that's a good question. Okay, I just wonder. And on both sides, Adam has a relative named Franklin, too. Oh. So let's see if this goes back to see who... The man that owns that, who his father is. Okay. His father and mother were Martin Calvert and Elizabeth Calvert, and they lived in Kentucky. So are they the ones that own the tools? No. Oh. It's these. It's. Um, there, there's not pages stuff to James James Franklin's oh, tools. J oh, okay. Born in 1837. Wow. Cool. He lived quite a while because he died in 1903. So oh, wow. That would have been 66 years. It doesn't say where he was born, but his parents lived in Kentucky. It says Boone and, County. No, married in Boone County. Oh, okay. It doesn't say where they were born. Huh. And then my grandfather was born... 1884. Where did you get this information from? My cousin Carolyn has done research since she was in college, and now oh. she's 79. Huh. There's, yeah, he, this is the same thing. That's oh. my grandfather. He was born near Shannondale. You know where uh -huh. Shannondale is. It could, it's possible some of the things are in that place belong to my <laughs> grandparents. That'd be really cool. Yeah. That's it in here. Okay, so these are your parents. That's me and my parents, yes. Okay. So that's your parents. That's Wayne Calvert and Florence Calvert. And he was the son of Henry Albert Calvert. Okay. All right. Huh. That's neat. 